try out Iron Man in solo against Claw. Because I'm pretty convinced that the game was not designed to be played in solo originally. Pretty sure it was a two player and up main focus. Oh, and Johnny, this is what I was telling you about of uh, how thin Claw's encounter deck is normally compared to like a hero deck. So like it's, yeah, he, he has a very thin deck normally. Okay, armored guard. With a zero thwart, zero, I mean, zero scheme, that's going to be, it's really nice. That's like best case scenario for Iron Man here. Okay, I'm looking to just get set up fast, so I'm going to mulligan all of these. Yeah, and go slow with it. Because, like, you don't you don't have that many, that much stuff right now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six. Oh, that sucks that I got both Power of Justices in one hand. Okay. So now I'll use my Futurist ability to look at the top three cards of my deck and add one to my hand, discard the others. Okay, this is tough. Because if I get Pepper, I, I think I gotta get Pepper Pots. I didn't want to discard either of these, though. Okay. Now, to play Pepper, I'll use Repulsor Blast and Strength. Now Pepper Pots comes into play, and I made sure to put Strength on the top of my discard pile. And now Pepper can Exhaust to generate the resources of the top card, so I generate a double Strength, which can play my Arc Reactor. And then these two can pay for my Gauntlets. And I'll stay down this turn. But getting the Arc Reactor early is extremely powerful, because that's how I get my Thwarting Power with him. So this has like been best case scenario so far. So if this game's a struggle, I don't think it ever gets any easier. For Iron Man it gets claw than this. And then I got Nick Fury, and then I can play oh yeah, this is this is great. Okay, main scheme goes up by one. Claw's gonna scheme for two. Deal one damage to each hero. No heroes. So just two. Bring it up to three, and then the armored guard doesn't have any scheme, so encounter card now, caught off guard, discard an upgrade or support you control. That's rough. Okay. I will discard my uh powered gauntlets. Really bad for Iron Man. Okay, my turn now. I'll play. I'll use futures to look at the top three. I'll add my uh, I really want heroic intuition here so I can thwart. So I'm going to add heroic intuition and discard these two. And then I'll pay four to play Nick Fury, who will let me draw three cards. Okay, and then. I use for justice and first aid to play heroic intuition and daredevil to play my helmet. Wait, no, no. Pepper pots. I can keep daredevil in my hand. And then Iron Man. We'll thwart three off of Defense Network. Uh, the Mark 5 helmet isn't useful again. Okay, and then I ready with him. And then thwart three off here. And then Nick can knock this tough status card off. Okay, that ends that ends my turn. 
Oh, I never set my hit points. I should be at nine. Nick has one consequential. Okay. And now, for my next trick, I will draw my hand. I have a hand size of three. I can actually afford Daredevil. It's a bit lucky. Main scheme goes up by one. Claw is going to attack me. I'll block with Nick. One, two, four damage from these boost icons. That takes out Nick. One damage from the armored guard. And counter card. Armored Guard. Okay. Now it's my turn. And I'll use Pepper and these three. Will I Daredevil? Mark 5 Helmet. Will Thor one off of there? Iron Man. We'll knock the tough status card off of this armored guard and ready up with the arc reactor. And then I'll flip down and recover for one. And then I have a lot of tech upgrades. It's likely the top two of my deck actually, top three of my deck actually has two upgrades. So I won't use futures here because I don't want to discard an upgrade before I get Stark Tower. I'm going to save Daredevil around because he's a really good source of thwarting, thwarting for me in Alter Ego. So I don't want to use him to attack an Armored Guard. Okay, I didn't get any of them really. Okay. Main scheme goes up by one. Claw is going to scheme for two, just two, and an advance is gone, so that's good. These guys scheme for zero, I get one counter card, uh, I can exhaust Tony to remove this from the game. Okay, now it's my turn, I'll use Futurist, I'll add the Mark V armor to my hand. I'll play the Mark V armor using these three resources, putting energy on top. Increases my hit points by 6, up to 14. And then I'll pay uh, with Pepper Pots, generating the energy for Stark Tower. I'll use Stark Tower to return the topmost tech upgrade. It's going to be these Jet Boots. And I'll use both of these resources to play both of my jet boots so I can increase my hand size and that increases my hit points by two. I'll flip up now. I'll use my arc reactor to ready. I'll remove a threat with the helmet. I will thwart the rest off of here. I'll keep Daredevil around for thwarting when I need it again. Okay. That's my whole turn. I have one, two, three, four, five, uh, six hand size. I get an encounter card because my deck ran out. And then this shuffles up. Okay, main scheme goes up by one. Claw attacks me, and I take the damage here. Robin Zunner comes engaged, and the villain gets tough status card, and no damage was dealt. And I get attacked by all these minions for three. I get dealt another encounter card. Assault, the villain attacks me, I'll take the damage. 
want to do a pepper, a pepper string? Sure. She's here. Discard one card at random from my hand. Oh, she's sleeping. This is my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. I lose my gauntlets, which is awful. Uh. Okay. Now my second one. Attach the claw. It gets plus one attack. After he attacks and damages a character, stun that character. Okay, now it's my turn. One, two, three, four resources. We'll just play the Avengers Mansion, which will let me draw a card. Okay. Um, Iron Man or Daredevil will take out this weapons runner. The helmet will remove a threat from a scheme. Iron Man will attack an armored guard for one. Ready up with the arc reactor. Flip down for cover. Stark Tower will return Powered Gauntlets to my hand. Pepper will generate the resource, plus this gets my Powered Gauntlets out. Okay, and that ends that turn. Oh, and then I Futurist I don't need a Futurist right now. I'm not really looking for anything specific now. So main scheme, or first I draw my hand. Main scheme goes up by one. Claw schemes for two. Boost, exhaust each ally you control. These guys scheme for zero. One encounter card. Illegal Arms Factory with four threat. Okay. This should be pretty easy from this point. Now a futurist. One, two, three. I'll add Nick Fury to my hand. And then one, two, three, uh, four. Putting strength on top. Plays Nick Fury, who lets me draw three cards. I will... What's my max hit points? 9 plus 10, 11 plus... I guess I have 17 health, so I'll recover to get to 17. I'll flip up. I will ready with my arc reactor. I'll play for justice. Or, no, wait, first I'll draw a card with the mansion. Another one. Okay. Another double. Um, yeah, all for justice now. Removing four threat from here. I'll go aerial by spending great responsibility. I'll spend one, two, and pepper to get rid of the converter. I'll spend two to supersonic punch. Oh, first, I forgot about the damage. So I knock that off, and I super, with my basic activation, I supersonic punch for eight, bringing him down to four. And then Nick takes out this, wait, no, oh, I'm so stupid. I forgot about the guards. So they're both tough, and I waste a bunch of damage. So my supersonic punch goes on the guard. Nick takes out the other one. 
and then Iron Man attacked for one to take off the tough status card. And then Mark V Helmet removes the threat from here. Oh, no, I'm... I could have done that. Yeah, oh, whatever. I could have done that better. I forgot about my gauntlets. So my gauntlets will deal two damage. Because I'm aerial. But it's fine. I don't think there's really any way that I lose here. And scheme goes up by one. Oh, I forgot my name. How much do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have seven hand size. Claw attacks me. I'll block with Nick. Two boost cards. Three damage. Picks up Nick. One encounter card. One revealed hero. Take two damage. Claw heals too. Okay, now it's my turn. So I pay two to get the gauntlets, the second pair. I draw one with mansion. I pay a mental resource to go aerial. Wait, no, no. Before that, I play Jessica Jones with pepper and tenacity. Then I spend the mental resource to go aerial. My helmet removes a threat from here. Uh, Iron Man thwarts the rest off there. Jessica attacks him for two. Both gauntlets deal two, so four, four more damage. And then the arc reactor readies me, and I attack for one. And then I play... A maker for three. And I'll try to win next turn. Counter card because I ran out of my deck. I did not get any damage, so maybe I don't win this turn. And scheme goes up by one. Claw attacks me, I'll take the damage. One damage. Counter card. When revealed hero, claw attacks you. If this attack deals damage, place one threat on the main scheme. So, zero, two damage. Down to 12, and it places a threat on the main scheme. Surge. When I be able to spend all those resources or exhaust each character you control. Uh, I'll just exhaust each character I control. All right. And this resets, and I get an acceleration token. Now it's my turn. I will draw a card with Avengers Mansion. Spend that to go aerial. Already up. I'll use Mark V Helmet to remove one threat there. I'll use one gauntlet to take out that. I'll use the other gauntlet to flip Claw to his next side. When revealed, search for the Immortal Claw and reveal it. It comes in with three player threat, so I'll just defeat it. Because I have three for it. I've used both gauntlets now. 
and he has 18 health. I'll pay for a Repulsor Blast. Deal one damage to an enemy, disc of the top five. One, two, three, four, five. For each energy resource, deal an additional two damage. That's one, two, three. So that's an extra six damage. So that's a one cost card for seven damage. Bring him down to 11. And then I'll Repul Repulsor Blast again. So top five. So that's three. So that's another um, seven damage. Bring him down to four health. Okay. And then a Haymaker for three. One health. <laughs> oh, I could have used Pepper to generate resource and I can keep a mental in my hand next turn to go aerial. Up, go, up by two. Claw attacks me. One, two. Deal damage to each hero. So one, two, three, four damage. Down to eight health. Encounter card. The villain schemes for two. Just two. So he doesn't even finish his main scheme. Oh, I gotta draw my hand size of seven. And there's many ways I could win here, but I'll just attack for one. Okay. Yeah, so that was not a problem for Iron Man. Even in solo there. Like, I did get the beginning of the game. It went pretty well because I got the armored guards. But still, it was not that difficult for Iron Man using the pre-con justice tech. Playing Nightcrawler yesterday and threat is difficult to manage with him in my games. I guess it's also the scenario's fault. Yeah, what um what scenario were you playing? So I feel like Nightcrawler is pretty good at managing threat normally. Paulina Iron Man did not struggle. No. No. It's easy. Yeah. I had I never even I don't know. It was just it was really simple. Crazy. I don't remember it being that way when we played. Mm -mm. Before. Yeah, I think I'm just a lot better than when I first tried to play Iron Man. Yeah, I didn't even I didn't granted I got an armored guard as my starting minion, so it was a bit easier. Mm -hmm. But still there was like zero pressure the whole game. I had I flipped up and had three hand size, but then I just played Daredevil on the next turn anyways because I had Pepper Pots. Nice. But I did I got Pepper Pots turn one, which is huge. That is huge. I got Pepper Pots turn one, and I put two tech upgrades, but then I got caught off guard first turn. So yeah, I I don't know. It was it wasn't it wasn't bad. So he. When I don't get... Because, like, I don't know. It was unlucky that I got caught off guard immediately. It was lucky I got Pepper Pots. It was lucky I got the armored... The, the minion. But also, I wasn't even close to even starting to lose. Mm -hmm. So, I think that it's safe to say Iron Man can handle Claw on standard with a, with a, um, with the Precon deck fairly easily. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't know. Because I... I, d I put that poll out of who's the strongest core box hero. And I was thinking, like, in multiplayer, it, it, it feels like it's Iron Man to me. Even in two-player and up. But then in solo, he feels a lot weaker. So I wanted to play him in solo today to test it, but he just kind of popped off. 